Hey guys, what's up? Today we have something new where I'm working on. I'm sure you can't tell what that is. But I got a, uh, a 17 Murray 450 And uh, I think there's something, there's a problem with the carburetor. So what I did was, uh, see there's that uh, right there. Uh, there's three bolts to hold that thing on. And I took that off right there, right, right here. And uh, I took in the, let's see, took a clamp off, pulled that clamp back, got me some uh, neo nose pliers, clamped that hose off so that way the gas wouldn't run out. And uh, basically uh, just slid the tank right up because it goes, there's a couple things right there and right here that this thing slides on you can see them lips right there slide right down over the top of them holes and that's where the gas tank holds on it but we're going to take in uh, take this carburetor off and let me uh see if i can find something to hold my phone up while i do this the way i kind of show you all what i'm doing but what i plan on doing is cleaning the carburetor putting it back on because I haven't got another one yet. You can find them on Amazon for like less than $20 for these carburetors are fairly inexpensive compared to the mower itself. And this one here, got a new plug for it. Primed it real good. I primed the crap out of it and it will start and run for a second and it will just die. So it's either the jet, something in the carburetor's bad or maybe dirty, I don't know. So let's find out. Alrighty, I couldn't find I couldn't find my tripod to put my uh, phone on, so I'm gonna have to try to do this uh, one-handed or something to kind of show you all what's going on here. But first things first, uh, this hose right here. Let's let's take that off, and uh, that usually just squeezes on, and it squeezes off. Oh, that came off. Uh, yeah, that's right. I took all the bolts out. So, took all the bolts out. So, let's see if I can get this off right here without breaking anything. There we go. Let's get out. Got this here. And I got this part right here off. That's your primer. And uh, it seemed to be priming, but I'm not exactly sure. You know, it just had to pump it a lot, so I don't know. So it might have been working correctly. So next thing next is we're gonna have to uh, try to work. See, it just slides right off. Uh, let's see here. So we have to be gentle. Turn this thing right here. It should come right off. Let's see. Got to hold it. Up. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Yep, it came off. So, yep, it's, carburetor's full of gas. So let's let's take it over here. Let's take it out here. Stink up the porch for everybody. So everybody likes to play out here. Kids and all that. But, but yeah, I'm usually working on days like today. So what I'm gonna do here now guys is uh we're gonna take uh, this screw off and this screw off and we're gonna just gonna take this apart because uh, whatever the problem is it's gonna be inside here. Let's, uh, let me do it my wrenches. So yeah, let's take these bolts out and this uh, socket I'm using right here to take these out with is seven millimeter. Just be kind of wondering. Let's see here. Take these bolts off. Gas smell, I hate that gas smell. It stinks. Sometimes it's hard to get that off. Gotta have a screw. 
screwdriver and then I'm going to try to uh, press this here off here. There's like some lips right here on the side. If you got a big enough screwdriver maybe you can kind of uh, pry that thing up there a little bit. Try to work it loose here. damage it in any way. It's kinda it's kinda tough. Oh there we go. He popped it right open there. Yep, there's gonna be more gas in there, of course. Just be careful and try not to damage your uh, your seal that's right here. Uh, make sure if it looks good, clean it off so that way it's not dirty. And then the next thing is uh, empty out the empty out the gas. I prefer you not do it on the grass, but I have no other choice. So let's uh, uh, use a screwdriver. And there's a uh, like a see it right here. There's a pin right there and all it does is just you use a screwdriver and it pops right up. It's not that hard at all. Just try not to lose the pin. See, just, just pops right up here. And the part we're looking for is right here. Yeah, let's try not to lose that. Looks fairly clean in there, but you know, sometimes it gets pretty clogged down in there. Let's see here. <coughs> Excuse me. So we gotta do that. That's just and that pops back on. That sits right there like so. That's dirty. Dirt. This thing right here goes slides right back up in like this right here. Yeah, it slides up in there like so. <coughs> <coughs> and this goes back through there. That <coughs> <coughs> gas. Dirty. Oops. Yeah, let's uh, save our pen here. But uh, what we're gonna do next? You can't. It's hard to clean these things out. I mean, you could just go to Amazon and buy one, but I'm gonna take and pull this out and see if uh, see if it's clogged inside there. <coughs> let's go from there. So, yeah, let me find a rag. It's probably all blown away. But, uh, yeah, let me get a, let me get another pair of pliers. So, yeah, we're going to, uh, we're going to take this thing off. Let's see, okay, all the parts over there. But, yeah, that thing right there, I'm it's, you should be able to take that pair, pair of pliers and just uh, here and just wiggle it right out, and then you're, you got some screens and stuff right in the bottom of this thing here. So let's look at that. I don't have anything to hold my phone on, guys. I have a tripod somewhere, but uh, I can't find it. So. try to get this thing out without doing any damage to it. Oh man. Yeah. I need a 
bigger pair of pliers. That ain't gonna work. Anybody could do it. Anybody can work on these things. It's kind of easy, you know. Some people just don't like to work on that tiny little stuff, but I've done some of it and it's not too bad. But I'll be right back with you. I gotta do something here. I've got some pliers here. Might be a little overkill, but I think we got it. I think we can do it with these bad boys. See? Right out there. And it's crazy, huh? Yeah. yeah it looks pretty uh looks pretty clean in there. I don't see any not really any major trash or anything down there. Yeah. Don't look too bad. So. I don't know how to get in and clean that out. Doesn't look dirty though. So we're going to put that back together right there. And we're going to put this, this piece right here. I just took it apart and looked at it. It looked pretty clean. We'll see. Let's put this back together real quick. Okay. And see, these things work. It's like when it's up like that, it's open. Down like that, it's closed. So that allows gas to uh, get to the lawnmower and stuff. The way it stays running, but once this thing. Alright, I got it. I got that thing back together. I'm going to uh, put it on here. I wish I had a place to put my phone, though. It really stinks. I lost my uh, tripod, so I can't. I can't even put it back on. But uh, yeah, let me uh, let me put this back together. It just basically comes, but well, goes back together the same way it came apart. But let me do that, and uh, I'll uh, I'll be right back with you. All right, I got it all back together. You see me take it apart. So I just basically took it apart. the worst go to Amazon you get one for like 16 17 dollars you know put it on there it should be fine so uh, we're gonna take it out here all right let me plug the uh we plug the uh, spark plug back in here okay spark plug spark plug's plugged in let's go out here and prime it Oops, sorry guys. But yeah, I uh, got everything back together, cleaned the carburetor, and I got plenty of gas in it, brand new spark plug, and uh, we're gonna prime it up here. And let's see if she starts. Before, all she would do is she would fire up, run for a second, boom, dead. So let's, let's see if I can hold this right here. Hold this, let's give her a pull. Well, there we have it. 
we have a running lawnmower uh, Murray 21 inch 4.5 uh, 125 cc and it's a 450e you've seen it boys you've seen it be done so go on out there and try it doesn't matter if you doesn't if it doesn't work you know there's always solutions so make sure to give me a thumbs up and don't forget hit that subscribe button I'm gonna have more repair videos coming soon so be prepared just to let you know guys God bless